All right, just a quick video showing examples of Roman Catholic papal curses against reading the Holy Scriptures or translating the Holy Scriptures. You see, according to Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 12, Satan hates the Word of God. He wants to keep the Word of God away from you, the common man. And that's exactly what he's done through his Roman Catholic papacy. The Roman Catholic Church is the original Church of Satan. And these examples prove that, doing the will of their father, the devil. This is from uh, David Cloud's article on pa uh, Rome's curses against Bibles, against the Word of God. Uh, and here are some examples of that. First, this is a uh, Pope Clement uh, from 1592 to 1605. He confirmed the Council of Trent's proclamations against Bible translations. Uh, Trent's, uh, that, sorry, 10 rules regarding books prohibited anyone from reading the Bible without a license from the bishop or an inquisitor. Clement modified this by declaring, quote, the Holy Inquisition has taken away from the bishops and superiors uh, all power to grant any such licenses. Uh, thus, Clement went further than his predecessors not allowing licenses to be granted for reading the Bible under any condition. That's what a cult does. They want to keep you away from the word of God because if you read the Bible, you, you're no longer a Roman Catholic. Uh, it is important to notify our readers that the harshness of these curses poured from the lips of the popes towards those who oppose them. Yeah, exactly, they're their father the devil. They have murder in their heart, just like Satan in John 8, 44. Clement, for example, restored the edited curse of the Roman, uh, Roman pontifical against those who interfere with nuns. The curse was issued against any person that attempted to remove a nun from her unscriptural vows uh, and from her cloister. Essentially, they're, they're wicked uh, for celibacy. Doctrine of devils, according to uh, 1 Timothy 4, verse 1 to 5. But you see, if Roman traditions uh, don't line up with scripture, well, you just follow the Pope. But this is what uh, the Pope further said. But if anyone shall dare to attempt such a, such a thing, let him be accursed. At home or abroad, accursed in eating and drinking, accursed in walking and sitting, accursed in his flesh and bones, and from the soul of a boot. Look at the satanic hatred coming out of the Pope. Uh, to the crown on his head, let him have no soundness come upon him, this malediction, in which by Moses and the law the Lord hath said on the sons of iniquity, be his name be, uh, sorry, be his name blotted from the book of the living, not written with the righteous, his portion and inheritance be with Cain, the fratricide with Dathan and Abram, I'm not saying that right, and with uh, Ananias and Sapphira, 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 I think that's how you say it, and with Simon the sorcerer, Judah the traitor, and with those who have said, God, depart from us, uh, we desire not the knowledge of thy ways, which is exactly what the Pope is, ironically. Uh, let him perish in the day of judgment, and let everlasting fire devour him with the devil and his angels, unless he make restitution and come to amendment, so be it, so be it. These horrible curses demonstrate the presumption and pride of the papacy, which assumes to itself uh, propagate, oh, sorry, uh, pretrogratives, not good at reading on a computer, belonging solely to Almighty God. Well, they do belong to God as the God of this world, Satan. That's, that's, the, that's the God of Roman Catholicism. See, they do believe in Jesus, but it's a false Christ. Uh, so yes, Jesus Christ, their false Jesus Christ, did indeed start the Roman Catholic Church. But the, the Jesus Christ of the Word of God has nothing to do with Romanism. Uh, continuing on, terrible curses like this were pronounced against Bible-believing Christians for centuries by the pompous pretenders headquarters in Rome, Pope Clement, uh, sent missionaries into the valleys of Piedmont with the view to induce the Protestants to renounce their religion. These missionaries uh, endeav endeavored to get the book of the Protestants into to get the books of the Protestants into their power in order to burn them. Uh, and on the owners concealing them, wrote of the Duke of Savoy, who for the heinous crime of not surrendering their Bibles, prayer books, and religious treaties, sent a number of troops to be quartered on them, with occasion to ru uh, ruin of men to, with the occasion to ruin of many families uh, they took away the children by open force as the re as the wretched parents resisted they would immediately be murdered that's what they think about you if you resist their tyranny you're just a wretched you know you're a wretched though you are again notice the satanic hatred coming from rome pope paul v 1605 to 1621, he issued a bull containing the following language, We excommunicate and anathemize in the name of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and by the authority of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and by our own, all Whitecliffeites, Hussites, Lutherans, Calvinists, Huguenots, Anabaptists, and other heretics, uh, by whatsoever name they are called, and whatsoever sect they be. That would be me too, by the way. I'd be excommunicated, and I'd take it as a, as a badge of honor, to be honest, to be excommunicated by these devil-possessed popes. And also all schismatics and those who withdraw themselves or recede ostensibly by 
the obedience of the Bishop of Rome, also their adherents, receivers, favorers, and generally any defenders of them, together with all who, without the authority of the Apostolic See, shall knowingly read, keep, print uh, any of their books which treat on religion or buy for any cause whatsoever publicly or privately, uh, the, or on any pretense or color, defend them. Basically, they hate it when you have the Word of God. They hate it when you translate the Word of God. What? Because then they can't control you. If, if Europe, the average European had the Word of God, Rome would never have had the kind of power they do. They got to keep you away from the Word of God because, you know, the Pope's little anathemas against you are, are rendered useless. Why? Because John chapter 10, verse 28 down to verse 30 says that my salvation is in the hand of God and no man can pluck it out. So the Pope has no power over my salvation because it was never his to begin with. So he would, he would you know, oh, you're anathematized for you know, uh, going against the Pope. You know, I just respond with, wait a minute, the word of God says my salvation is in the hand of God and you can't rip it out. So sorry, you know, but you see, when you don't have the word of God, they can control you very easily. Plain and simple. So, and then when you do have the word of God, they have to kill you to shut you up, just like Satan. So I want to show you guys that the true spirit of Roman Catholicism is that of the spirit of Antichrist. They do believe in Jesus Christ, but it's a false Christ. It's another Christ. And stuff like this proves it. Satan wants to keep you away from the Word of God, Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 12, and he's doing that through his Catholic papacy. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.